Southern California and welcome to this week's edition of Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. He is the founder and president of Mosley Wealth Management based right here in Southern California and I'm your host Kristen Oakley. We've got a great show for you this week. We're going to be talking about all the major reasons why folks run out of money in retirement and how you can avoid those same reasons. Tom, my friend, always a joy to be in the television studio with you. How are you this week? I am doing great. I love this topic because it's the biggest fear people have in retirement is running out of money. If you're out there and you don't fear running out of money, you're not normal because every study, I, I've got studies here, Rutgers University in 2016, AARP in 2019, Kiplinger in 2023, Barron's in 2023, C. NBC in 2023 and investment news this year in 2024. Every one of those studies says that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money before they die. It's a bigger fear than death. It I mean, is. can you imagine? Yeah. I fear that more than I actually fear dying. Right. And, and I've heard that so much. I know you hear this a lot when folks come in and meet with you for the first time. A lot of what is on the top of most folks' minds who are looking towards retirement is, do I have enough? Have I saved enough? Translation, am I going to be okay? Because the number one fear is running out of money in retirement. It is. It, it is a huge fear. Now, when I do seminars, and we do seminars all over Southern California, you're welcome to go to our website and look and see when we're going to be in your area. We'd love to meet you for a social security workshop or a tax workshop or the complete retirement master class. You can see that on our website. But when I do those and, and we talk about this idea of running out of money, I always put up a slide in the PowerPoint presentation that says, warning, the following information has been known to cause anxiety, depression, hair loss, generalized anger, and other symptoms indicating distress. Okay, we're going to talk about the biggest fear that most people have in retirement today. So all I ask you to do is not to kill the messengers. We're just going to try to give you some information on how people fear it. We've already talked about all the studies. I'm going to give you some numbers as to where different age groups are, and then we're going to talk about how to solve it. So let's don't just talk about the problem today. Let's talk about the issue that's out there, and then we're going to try to solve it. And I've got 10 of them. There's probably no chance that I'll get through all 10 of them, but I'm going to because if, if I don't hit on all 10 of them, I may be missing one that somebody really, really needs. Absolutely. So we need to talk about it for yeah. sure. Well, should we start with this massive list? Well, let's, before <laughs> do we, we do, do that, stats, right? before we do that, I want to talk about the numbers. Okay. Okay. Because the Federal Reserve System recently did put out some numbers and they put out, and I'll just read these. It's important. I don't normally read a lot of stats, but it's important. And wherever you are, if you're listening, it's important for you to remember where you are. If you're 35 to 44 years of age, the average person 35 to 44 has $141,000 saved for retirement. And just to clarify, are these married couples, single people? Did it break it down that way? Or it, is it just if, as, a, as an individual if you are between these ages, right? It just was as an individual between those ages. And the yeah. reason that, that it broke it down that way and, and having read the report mm -hmm. was that you, you don't know when you look at a 401k mm -hmm. or an IRA, which the Federal Reserve System is looking at, you don't know whether that person is also married to somebody right. who has a 401k or an IRA. Very yeah. good point. Yeah, good Very to clarify good that. Okay, so we got 35 to 44. If you're in that age group, the average savings is 141,000. Next up, 45 to 54. 313,000. Mm -hmm. So so quite a jump there because a lot of people have started saving. 55 to 64 is 537,000. And 65 to 74 is the highest. It's 609. So right about the time when most people are retiring, and if you're out there and you're most people and you're retiring, you probably have about $609,000 for an average. If you're higher than that, pat yourself on the back. If you're lower than that, kick yourself somewhere else lower than that. But it, you know that's what you need to realize. And then to show you what happens is at 75 and above 75, 
462,000. So it does begin to go down as you begin to, to spend. Now, what we do, you know, from the show, if you have watched the show very often, you know, we talk about that 401k that the Federal Reserve is talking about, the IRA, that's your lumber yard. And that's what you build up. It's not a retirement plan. It is a retirement account in a 401k. It is a retirement account. They even call it an individual retirement account. It is not a plan because a plan is going to address income. And where's your income coming from? Because when you leave your job, basically you are self-employed living off the lumber yard that you've built through the years in those accounts, but you still don't have a plan. A plan is going to address how am I going to have guaranteed income for the rest of my life? Used to, 63% of the people could turn to a pension. Now, only 16% of the people can turn to a pension where they can find guaranteed income for the rest of their life. Oh, let's, let's go to Social Security, which is another annuity. A pension is an annuity that pays you for the rest of your life. Social Security is an annuity that pays you for the rest of your life. But well, what, there's a problem. The problem is we're already told now we don't know how long they're going to be able to pay out that annuity mm -hmm. that the government has promised us. Yep. And they may have to diminish it by 21 to 25 percent in just short nine short yes, years. By 2033, they lowered 20, it. 2033. Yeah. And, and, and they, they, they play with that 2033, 2034. Mm -hmm. And they've been playing with that that date. For 17 years, they've been telling us that if Congress doesn't act, they're going to have to reduce Social Security. And the problem is we've gone 17 years with Congress, without Congress ever acting to change it or to make amends to it. So what are they going to do? I don't know. So your lumberyard, this is what you're going to have to live off of mm -hmm. because you're basically living off of that lumberyard. Now, I, don't, I know... Um, a lot of you hear little things I say in my in my tone and my voice and things. And you say, you know, you must not be from Southern California originally. No, I, I grew up in the South. Mm -hmm. And in the South, let me tell you something. When a storm came mm -hmm. and when the electrical storm came in life, you didn't want to be found. You didn't want to be found in a lumber yard. You wanted to be found in a house. And I liken that to when the storm comes in retirement, just having a lump sum is not nearly as important as having that retirement plan. And I started it. Let me finish it. You have income that's guaranteed for the rest of your life. You have an adjustment made for inflation because you're going to have to pay more for things in 20 years than you're going to have to pay for right now, even if we return to what we call normal inflation. OK, you're going to have investments that are going to need to grow during the years because longevity has come in and we're living a lot longer now. And you're going to have taxes in every 401k. You cannot spend the money in a 401k or an IRA. It's got to first go through the grid of the U.S. tax system and Uncle Sam's going to get his money. So if you have a one million dollars in a 401k, it's not all yours. OK, you don't have that money in your lumber yard. You've got a portion of that one million dollars that it looks like you've got in your lumber yard, in your lumber yard. And then health care. You know, Fidelity just did a study mm -hmm. and they found that the normal couple is now over three hundred thousand dollars. That if, if they're sixty five, they're going to have to spend over three hundred thousand dollars for health care alone in retirement. Yeah. And that doesn't even include long term care, does it? Doesn't even include long term care. Yeah. OK. And then legacy. How are we going to leave it to the kids and the people we want to leave it to? That is a retirement plan. Income, inflation, investments, taxes, health care, legacy. All of those have to be addressed. You don't find that in a 401k. You don't find it in an IRA. So the subject of the show is running out of money before you retire. And I will tell you the very first we've already covered the very first thing you need a retirement plan. You need a retirement plan that's going to address those six things. And if you don't have one, you're going to you're going to weather the storms of retirement financially in your lumber yard rather than building a plan and building a house you can live in to weather the storm. That's what we're going to talk about in the rest of the show.
And I know we have a lot to get to on that point, but you did such a beautiful job explaining all the different facets of a retirement plan. And that's in the retirement blueprint that you build for folks and no two retirement blueprints are alike, right? No, sometimes people call in Kristen and they see us and they hear us on the show, they hear us on the radio mm -hmm. and they, they see us on the, on the show and they say, send me a retirement plan, a retirement blueprint. We can't because it depends on what's in your lumber yard because we build your plan based on what's in your lumber yard. And so therefore we, we have seven financial planners and we have six offices spread all over Southern California. We want you to call us. We want you to get on our schedule. We'll be happy to sit down and for absolutely free, we will build you a retirement plan. We will build you a retirement blueprint so that you can follow that will address all six of those things through your retirement. It'll take your lumber yard of your 401k and your IRAs, and it'll give you that security to know that your income's there, that it's going to provide for inflation. Your investments aren't too risky. Taxes aren't going to rob you. Your health care is not going to destroy you. And you're going to leave it when you're gone to the people you want to leave it to. But to get that blueprint, you've got to, you've got to meet with us. You've got to sit down with us and let us know where you are and where you want to go in retirement. And we can build a plan once we know that. And the best part is it's completely complimentary. So Tom, Absolutely. thank you. If you would like to take advantage of this incredible opportunity and grab your complimentary retirement blueprint, all you need to do is call that number on the bottom of your screen, 866-709-1462. Or if you'd rather connect online, we've got you covered there as well. If you'll simply pull out your smartphone and if you open up that camera app, you can point, click and scan that QR code that you see there down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That will take you over to a landing page, ask you a few short, simple questions, and then a member of the team from Mosley Wealth Management will reach out to connect with you to schedule your complimentary appointment that way as well. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to be diving deeply into the 10 major reasons why folks run out of money in retirement and how you can avoid them. Stay with us. Fiduciary is a big word in our industry and fiduciary means you act in a client's best interest. At Mosley Wealth Management, you are an individual. You're different than anybody else on this planet. You look different. You've got a different social security number. You live at a different address. Everything about you is different. The first visit is just getting to know them, getting to know where they are. We literally start with a blank legal pad. And at the end of that meeting, we just say, okay, you've, you've brought a lot of stuff here. Do you want us to look at this stuff and see what we would recommend? And when I look at statements that people bring me from so-called fiduciaries and I, I ask them, I say, why did you get put 50% in this and 50% in, in this? Many times they'll say, well, that's what the advisor said he likes to do. My question is, would I do this for my mom? Would I do this for my dad? Would I do this for myself? So you really have to sit back sometimes and say, if I were them, if I were sitting on their side of the table, what would I do? And I've literally sat in my office at least once every two or three weeks and try to put together a case for somebody where it's iffy as to whether they'll make it or not. And you have to ask yourself, what would I do if I were in their situation? And never, ever recommend something that you wouldn't do if you were right where they are. Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. And today, Tom and I are discussing the 10 main reasons why folks run out of money in retirement, and more importantly, how you can avoid those same reasons. And what is the solution to this problem? The fact that we are living longer than we ever have before, as well as we went through some of those numbers at the beginning of the show, Tom. It's staggering when you look and see how much on average most folks have saved for retirement. Mm -hmm. And then you look at our life expectancy. It's no wonder so many folks are afraid of running out of money. Well, look at the combination. Um, my, we talk on some shows about my grandfather. My grandfather was born in 1898. He worked for the railroad and he retired when he was 65 in, in 1963 because they gave you a party and a pension and they gave you a gold watch. You know, that was just what they would do at that time. Well, my grandfather had social security and my grandfather had the pension and my grandfather sold a 444 acre farm that he farmed while he was also working for the railroad because people had multiple jobs at a time. He had, he had nine kids, so he had to work and he had to have extra money. So he had a pot of savings as well. Now, 
we're pretty much down to an iffy social security yep. and a pot of savings. So that's the that's the fear we talked about in the first segment. Right. Is there these things are diminishing. Yes. They're going away. Pensions from 63% of the people covered in in the 60s to 16% of the people are covered by pensions now. So so these things are going away. Social security as we talked about it right. might go away. And, and then we have inflation and added we have to inflation. all that, right? Right. Yeah. If my grandfather had a half million dollars, he would have been rich forever, you know, when he mm -hmm. passed. I think he passed away in like the middle 70s. Mm -hmm. But now a half million dollars, especially in Southern California, where this show airs originally, if you might be watching it all over the country, but but wherever you're if you're in Southern California, a half million dollars is not a huge amount of money. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? What do you do to get over that? Well, we talked about that in the first segment right there. The very first thing of anything. I look at these things on the internet and they talk about how to solve this issue financially, mm -hmm. how to solve this issue financially, how to solve anything financially. Get a plan, mm -hmm. get a plan, get a comprehensive plan. We call it a retirement blueprint. That's what we offer. Yes. Well, we're all about the solutions on this show, right? Yes. So we know that this is a problem. So the first solution obviously is to start saving early and consistently. Let's talk about that. Well, it's, it's, it's very simple. Start saving early and, and consistently. consistently. <laughs> I mean, that's what you have to do. People uh, in our society, we have the microwave, we have instant pudding, we have instant potatoes, we have instant everything. Amazon Prime, you can order something now, it can be at your doorstep in two hours, that's right? That's ex exactly mean, right. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, everything we want instantaneously and this crock pot of retirement savings, it, it just takes a while. Mm -hmm. And you can't you can't start when you're when you're late and expect to have a huge lumber yard. Now now let me hasten to say, wherever you are, if you're 64 and you haven't saved for retirement, early is now. Okay. If you're 24 and you haven't started saving for retirement, early is now. So early is now. Start saving now and start not just thinking about what you're gonna do spend and enjoy now, but realize you, you may have to live 20, 30, 35 years on what you've saved for retirement. So the sooner you start saving, the better you're going to be. And now is the soonest you can start. Yes. And I mean, the best time to start would have been before yesterday. yesterday, but now is a new day. It's never too late to get started. And I know we've shared this story on the radio show before. You had a woman who came in who had been completely devastated by a divorce late in life, had, I think, 30 some thousand dollars to her name. You were able to put this retirement blueprint together for her. And then fast forward, it's been about 10 years, right? And yep. she's thriving and retirement landscape for her looks completely different than it did. You know, a lot of people come in and, and their first comment to us is, I don't know if we have enough money for you to work with us, okay? Mm -hmm. And and this lady came in, and I'm going to take the time to do this case study right here because I think it's really important about starting early. And then in the last segment, we'll just, we'll just go through the different things you need to, the problems you could run into and the solutions. But this lady came in, and she was in her early 50s. She had just been devastated by a divorce, and she came out of that divorce with $38,000, and she really had no marketable skills, but she was forced at that point to getting a job. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she needed to find a place to go to work. So I just coached her. I said, look, you need to get a job. You need to start saving this money, but you need to start getting a job. You need to have one with a 401k. You need to have a place where you can advance. You probably are going to go need to go get training for a job. She did everything I told her to do. Mm -hmm. 10 years later, she came in, she has over a million dollars. She's bought a house. She's not planning on retiring, even though she's in her early 60s. She's in a, in a company of about 20 people, and she's the number third, three person in that company, making a really, really good amount of money every single year. But you've got to have a plan, yep. and you've got to get started. Those are the first two. And so if you don't have a plan and you haven't gotten started, don't think that nobody will work with you because you haven't gotten started. Now, now trust me. Uh, all of our advisors, we we love working with people and we love working with people who have millions of dollars. Don't get me wrong, okay? But we also love working with people that we that are builders that can begin to build a plan. And for us to help you though, you have to get over this pity poor me. I don't have anything. I don't have any 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 chance of getting anything. You do. You're still alive. If you're still here, there's a reason for you still to be here. And we can help you, but we can't help you if you don't call in and ask for us to, to help you. 
Well, Tom, thank you for sharing that story. And I always love all the care and compassion that you and the entire team of Mosley Wealth Management are able to meet people exactly where you are. If any of this is resonating with you, if you know that you need help and you need a solid plan put together, that's why the invitation is there for you to call and receive your very own complimentary retirement blueprint. 866-709-1462. Or again, you're also welcome to scan that QR code and that will get you connected as well. We'll be back with more right after this. What if there was a way to shield your retirement funds from market losses while achieving market gains? Imagine the potential to ride the stock markets up, securing those gains and avoiding losses when the markets go down. These investments could only move in one direction, up, not down. This investment tool isn't a dream, it's a reality, and we can show you how this solution could work for you. If you're serious about retirement income protection, call Mosley Wealth Management to arrange a discussion with one of our financial retirement advisors to determine if this strategy suits you and your financial goals. Secure your gains, avoid losses. Don't miss this opportunity. Welcome back, Southern California. You're watching Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. And today, Tom and I are discussing the solutions to help you avoid running out of money in retirement. We've got eight more to get through, so let's kick it off with the next one here on the list, Tom, which is diversify your investments. Let's yeah, talk about that. Don't I have all the same thing? I mean, everybody in the world right now loves the stock NVIDIA. But, you know, there, there's been a month recently where NVIDIA was down 16%. All your eggs in one basket is not a good thing. So, so uh, I had a couple came in uh, four or five years ago. They're, they're great clients of ours now. And they, every single penny they had was in Apple stock. Now, it's, it's a great stock. But but uh, sometimes Shohei Otani for the Dodgers goes 0 for 4 and the Dodgers still win because other people get hits. And, and it's the same way with the stock market. You need to diversify your stock. The second way you need to diversify is you need to have some things that are in pre-tax dollars like the 401k and the IRA. But you need to have other things that are in after-tax dollars so that if you take the money out and spend it or if you're under 59 and a half and you take the money out, you don't have a 10 percent penalty. So you need to have a tax diversification as well. And then I think when you get to retirement, you need to diversify two ways. You need to have some of your money diversified into this is my income money. And some of your money is this is still my investment money. You know why? Your income money will probably be very secure. So when the market goes down 20 or 30 percent, you're not worried about your income going down because your income is secure. Where? It could be in a money market. It could be in a CD. Most people like to put their money in an annuity. And if you don't have a pension, you don't trust Social Security. The third kind of annuity you can have is a regular annuity that you buy for yourself that's guaranteed never to go down. And it'll always give you that amount of money for as long as you live. And if you're married for as long as you're spouse lives. So diversification of your assets is really important. Absolutely. Moving on down the list, we talked about this briefly, but planning for inflation. I know that this is something a lot of advisors don't even talk about with their clients, but when you build a retirement blueprint for someone, you are adamant and you make sure that there is a plan for inflation built into that blueprint. You got to have levers to have more money coming in down the road. You can't just say that, you know, the one great thing about pensions is it's going to pay you something for the rest of your life. One terrible thing about pensions is if you're making $4,000 a month and you turn on that pension at 65, when you're 85, most pensions, you're still going to be making $4,000 a month. It doesn't grow, grow with inflation. Now, some of the government pensions do, but it's a 2% cap. And if we have 20% inflation over a period of four years, like we've had over the last four years, 20 to 25% inflation, depending on whose numbers you want to follow, then the 2% doesn't keep up with inflation. So if you built a plan, your plan is what are we going to do if we have higher than 2 or 3% inflation? That's what a plan will do for you. You've got to consider inflation. Yes, absolutely. Now, another huge thing that this is something folks have been hearing their whole lives, building your emergency fund. And, you know, there's that magic three to six months of living expenses that are often recommended. What do you say for what folks should be planning for with their emergency fund? 
I say it's a feel question, mm -hmm. okay? Because I've got some people who come in and and maybe they've always uh, been investors and they say, I don't want to keep that much money in a bank account and I feel like we should keep $10,000 in mm -hmm. for emergencies. And I ask people sometimes, what's the biggest emergency you've ever had that you had to have money within three days? And they'll think, well, one time the car broke down and we had to put a new transmission in it or we had to buy a new car and it took us about $15,000, $19,000. One person said one time for a roof. Well, keep that money in savings. Keep that money in savings. That's your big emergency that comes along. And then I've had some people that have had a business and so they've had to write big fat checks sometimes from time to time mm -hmm. and they're not comfortable with 10 or 15 or 20. And I've had so I've got some people right now that they've sold the business, it's behind them, but they've mm -hmm. still had that 50 years of mentality that they had to have a lot of money in savings and they've got 50 or $60,000 that's in a money market. I encourage them to go to the bank and get a, a money market that they're enhanced right now with, with uh, the rates being as high as they are. You can get a 4% money market sometimes, a 3.5% shop around because there's some banks that are paying more for money market than others. And by the way, if you're if you're in a, a money market at your bank and it's that old traditional money market, money market, and it's not one of these enhanced ones, they're not going to call you up and say, why don't you put your money in this one so we can pay you more? Right. You're going to need to call them up do your research. and yeah. shape and, mm -hmm. and jump around. Yeah. Let me go through some more, okay? Yes. You need to consider your health care costs. We've talked about that because you're going to live a long time. The good news is you're going to live a long time. The bad news is you might not be healthy that entire time. So you've got to be really careful that for that. You've got to manage your debt in retirement. You want to be growing your assets that are in your investments and living off of some of the proceeds of that growth. And you don't want to be groaning in debt and having to pay somebody else 22, 25, 27% interest. So the as best you can get out of debt, make sure you make the right decision on your social security. Make sure you make the right decision on your pension. And, and the last thing I would say is get professional advice for this. Mm -hmm. you, you know, I have retired with people thousands of times in 29 years of doing this. You have retired never. You have retired, if you are in retirement, just this once. And I ju I'm just telling you, there's so many things along that roadway to retirement, so many pitfalls that we, as a group of seven financial planners on my staff, can sit down with you and help you build a plan to avoid those it falls so that you don't have to worry about running out of money the rest of your life. That's our goal. Absolutely, because the reality is, folks, you get one shot at retirement. So we encourage you, you don't have to go it alone. We know that a lot of this might be new to you, but guess what? It's not new to Tom and the team of Mosley Wealth Management, and they would love to come alongside you, walk with you, and help you navigate through all of these things successfully. So to receive your complimentary retirement blueprint, simply call 866-709-1462. We love you, Southern California. We look forward to being back with you next week here on Right on the Money with Tom Mosley.